G'day guys, excuse the hair, it's one of those I don't give a fuck days quite frankly. Um, <clears throat> now there's a lot of controversy about the VAXX and whether or not people are going to get it or not. Um, even in my household, um, underlying health conditions, those sorts of things are playing a part in the debates. Also the children are somewhat in fear of getting it because they too um, are just as much in the in the swings and throws of whether they should or shouldn't. So what I thought I'd do is I have decided to go and I have captured and recorded all eight videos. Yes, it's a staggering amount of information on get the facts about COVID-19 vaccines that is actually on the New Zealand COVID-19 YouTube channel there. And they give you this little eight playlist, right? So there's eight clips in this playlist vaccine facts do vaccines work when a virus I can't read the whole title but you're going to get the whole point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record these all right all right so now you can see my mouse cursor so this is the first video New Zealand vaccines do vaccines work when a virus changes okay there is a minute 45 of information gee I'm staggered and um, of course so all of the general population now i would normally refer to the uneducated ignorant masses as sheep but these days it's seeing there's so many out there getting vaccinated i thought i'd call them frogs in a slow boiling pot instead because that's basically what you are um bear in mind that i know that back in april when new zealand bought 10 million of these Pfizer vaccines, Pfizer themselves were saying that they hadn't finished their, t their tests and their studies, they hadn't done the full two year tests, and actually said to the New Zealand government not to release them. Now that's in court proceedings. Sue Gray was the lawyer that went to the High Court in Wellington about that. But we'll ignore that for a second. Okay, so the first one is just a stupid little one minute long vaccine. Oh. Well, luckily I'm a 10 minute cycle favorite part of the week is heading to yoga. It really helps with my mental health. Luckily, I'm a 10 minute cycle away, so I can just ride my bike down. My lock here has a few combinations, which got me thinking. There's a lot of coronavirus variants popping up around the world, and lots of people are wondering why. Well, inside a virus particle, there are molecules called nucleotides. They form different combinations, just like my lock. So imagine a lock where each wheel has four options, and the whole... Imagine a bunch of idiots watching a cartoon character try to explain how a vaccine that's going to get injected into your body and how viruses work. Are you getting this? Is the cartoon character that loves yoga getting it through to you? Because I haven't seen any science, I've seen no medical documentation, I've seen nothing so far. But it might change. The whole lock has 30,000 wheels. The specific combination of all these wheels makes up what we call the genome sequence. This is what makes up each virus. Now when the virus spreads, it copies this sequence. But sometimes wheels can slip in the process, which is natural and common. Mostly this doesn't change much and the virus affects us the same. But sometimes the virus makes copies that don't work. Those variants usually die out. Other times though, a faulty copy can make the virus stronger. It might be more transmissible or more resistant to our immune systems. These variants can thrive. The longer the pandemic goes on, the more time the COVID-19 virus has to oh, mutate. This is so worse than cartoon network. Variants. That's why vaccination is so important. We can protect ourselves and help reduce the risk of the virus mutating and producing more variants. Thankfully, New Zealand's vaccine for COVID-19 is also able to protect us against the latest variants that have emerged. Oh my God. 
I, I know everything now. Thank you, yoga lady. Cartoon. It was awesome. Honestly. All right. We'll move on to number two. I'll do that in a separate recording, seeing these eight of them. Now, bear in mind, all I'm doing is showing the Ministry of Health's own information for the public. So if YouTube wants to fucking slam a medical misinformation on me, have at it. All I'm doing, if, if they want to call the Ministry of Health's own information, medical misinformation, go for it. If they want to say that my interrupting the video and, dare I say, exercising my New Zealand Bill of Rights Act section fucking 14 to seek, receive, and impart informations and opinions of any kind, in any form, then let them. That could be the actual reason why I might get a strike. But we'll see. Something else I want to add about this first video Let's scroll down now. You can tell what people like, of course. And New Zealand Health putting this information out for people, of course they're concerned and interested in what the general public has to say. That's why they obviously, and we'll just scroll down, that's why, oh! It's why they obviously leave the comments on so they're actually interested in feedback. Okay? Does that look like they're interested in feedback to you? I don't think so. And oh, oh! 60 likes versus 52. Pretty even killed there. I'd like to point out with my videos, I get almost 100%. I might get the occasional down, hour, uh, down thumb, but I never get that sort of feedback, unless it's a cop video and a lot of, a lot of cops have watched it. But not like I care. And these guys, Unite Against COVID-19. Look how many subscribers they've got. Clearly... I've got three and a half thousand. So I would think that Unite Against COVID-19 would be pleased I'm sharing their crap on my channel to almost four times the amount of subscribers. And sorry guys, to my subscribers, I know it's torture. I apologize. But moving on, we'll go to straight up with Dr. Lizzie Fraser. Dr. All right, we're going on to that one next. See you in the next video.